as the Thai public health minister, Anutin Chan Thirakul, kicked off an event that began the distribution of one million marijuana plants on Friday, one day after the country legalized marijuana possession and cultivation. Only one day, ladies and gentlemen. Authorities said the plants will be distributed nationwide over the course of the next six months through its Department of Agriculture's regional offices, which aims to jumpstart an interest in growing cannabis. Thailand mainly wants to make a splash in the market for medical marijuana. It already has a well-developed medical tourism industry and its tropical climate is ideal for growing marijuana. Around 1,000 free seedlings will be handed out to visitors during a three-day cannabis exhibition event held in the northeastern province of Buriram to celebrate the marijuana legalization. Thai Public Health Minister Anutin Chan Firakul, whose political party has been the driving force behind the policy reform, spoke of his party's achievement to cheering crowds of thousands of people at the opening ceremony on Friday that had an air of a campaign event. Thailand is hopeful that the marijuana reforms will help boost everything from national income to small farmers' livelihoods. But there are concerns of misuse among youth and proposed regulations that could favor big businesses. So the government insists that officially only medical marijuana has been legalized. Mm. But despite that, there are no plans for serious monitoring of small-scale cultivation and sales. So at least in the privacy of one's home, there appears to be no reason to believe a person can get into trouble for recreational smoking. What do you guys think about this? Oh, it's interesting this for this fast. region because it is like a, a very, uh, I would say this is a milestone for the region yeah, because yeah. we do know that it's very illegal in several other countries, yeah. not so far from Thailand, including ours as well. So mm -hmm. this is going to be, I would like to see where this goes from here because right. if there's any other countries around the region that do follow suit mm -hmm. because this will be definitely a first step in a, we've seen it happen in North America now mm -hmm. where it's very legal in Canada and le very legal in some states mm -hmm. only in the United States. We know that in, across Europe it's starting to get legal and I think this is something that will likely happen more and more with other countries around mm -hmm. the world as well and ASEAN should be no different. So this is actually going to be a good case study for specifically ASEAN Absolutely. countries, right? And what I'm interested, what I'm probably most excited about when it comes to in Indonesia <laughs> is the CBD product, you know, the wellness product sure. that contains CBD. Yeah. I think it's so huge in LA, you know, yeah. in the US. I think that will likely be first, right? Because yeah. it's not used for recreation. It's actually yeah. literally yeah. rubbing on your body if you have aches yeah, exactly. and if you have stress or anxiety. Yep. So those are what it actually should be used for for medicinal purposes mm -hmm. if that's what yeah. you're going to use it for.